everybody, it's your crazy Bengal Shy. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are reacting to the second episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, the Star Spangled Man. So I'm guessing we might see the new Captain America, but I'm also guessing that we are finally going to have Sam and Bucky reunited in this episode. Again, I absolutely loved the first episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It was so good, and it was a great reintroduction to the characters that we obviously know, and it was also a great proper introduction to Sam, his backstory, and sort of like where he's from. Now that we've sort of like been able to see what he's like around his family, it's really interesting to see that dynamic and you know like how he's sort of like um, trying to make amends for leaving at such a young age to obviously join the Air Force. So it's going to be interesting to see how else that pans out, how um, Sam's relationship with his sister sort of grows, um, and also the stuff with Bucky. The stuff with Bucky really surprised me, and I'm just so happy that it's being addressed. You know, like, just example, like, the, the mental health stuff, I didn't expect that to be really addressed, especially because it's Marvel, but also even the little aspects of racism and microaggressions towards Sam. Like, this is something I spoke about last week. I was a little nervous about it, but I think it's important to touch upon it, because that's what happened. So, it's very interesting to see that, and and for Marvel to have really the balls to do it, because I honestly didn't think they would, uh, just from Marvel's like sort of like um, track record, I guess. So it's really interesting to see it, and the fact that they're doing it in a Marvel show. It's a big thing, and I hope we get to see more of this sort of themes. It's going to be interesting to see what else happens, but without further ado, let's jump straight into this episode, because I'm very excited. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Ooh. I'm guessing he has a bit of a track record of punching his way out of situations. Oh, he looks a little bit better with the helmet this time. I think it was a bad angle last time. And how's the tour been? I know they did a big rollout for you, right? It's the greatest honor. Like a promotion tour? Oh my god, they're really milking it. Did you know? Oh, Bucky! Shit! Ho ho ho! Dude, there is some fucking tension between these two! It's worse than a married couple! Oh my lord! Okay, so I'm guessing they didn't part on good terms, maybe? So they're obviously- they haven't caught up in a long time, obviously, and Bucky hasn't been answering Sam's calls or messages. Like, Bucky is obviously pissed, you can tell. Um, he- he's obviously angry that Sam has given away, like, the, um... Sam has given away a part of Steve, and especially because Steve isn't the one behind that shield anymore, Bucky obviously feels, um, what's the word? Betrayed, I guess. So he's like, why would you give it to a stranger? Steve especially gave that to you, so why would you give that away? So, um, it's really, really interesting, and I'm excited to see, like, this, this tension, like, um, fizzle out a little more and see what else can happen, especially if these boys, like, go head-to-head -head in a fight. I would, I would actually really like to see that, because, like, they're both were best friends of Steve, and Steve respected both of them and loved them both a lot, like brothers. So if they do go head-to-head -head and actually get really angry at each other and have a fight, I would love to see how that goes, but... Let's continue. Shit! Look at Bucky! Oh my god! The crazy boy. Oh, that's the guy! What the? How did he? Oh shit! They are pretty strong. What the heck? Aliens or you know wizards. Please, Steve. I'm just trying to be the best Captain America I can be. That's it. It'll be a whole lot easier. 
And that includes using a gun? Look at my babies. Poor Bucky. Let's take the shields in. Let's take the shield and do this ourselves. We can't just... There is someone that you should be. Who? Bucky? Who? Yes, yes, yes. This is the guy with the serum, isn't it? Alex talked about him in our podcast. I'll talk about it later. Oh my god! <laughs> They're actually doing this. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, he has the serum. Damn. Why didn't you tell me about Isaiah? How could nobody bring him up? No, we just talked. We're fine. You ready? I don't have oh, ID. Why? Seriously? Sir, just call me out. No, he's not bothering me. Do you know who this is? Oh, God. I am so sorry, Mr. Wilson. I didn't recognize you without the cops. I am really, really sorry about this thing. Fuck. Okay. So much to unpack in that. Beautiful scene. Isaiah! They actually brought him into the shower! I'm so happy! Oh my god! Especially because, and even, oh god, this is like, yeah. Because even, like, this sort of, the the process that Isaiah, like, went through is just so much intact with what actually goes on in history. Especially with um, the black community. The black community, especially, I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but, like, back in the day when they were, like, testing out medicine, or, like, just different fucked up shit in science. They used to use it on black members of the community, especially in America, but also around the world. They've done it everywhere. And it's just terrible what those people went through, and even in jail, anywhere, in, in terms of just, like, experimentation on people. It should never happen. But the fact that they're putting him in the shower means so much. It's just so... Yeah, I was so shocked. But also, let's talk about what just happened with Sam. Dude, I was hoping something like this would happen, but goddamn, it's so interesting as well, like that concept, because he's a, a black man coming up on a white dude, obviously Bucky, and obviously the cops are gonna come out and be like, you know, what the what the heck's going on, you know, and the fact that he was like, can I see your ID and all that bullshit, you know, like settle down and stuff, but then Bucky, like, like because he's white, if Bucky wasn't there, they would have arrested him. This is the same shit that happens in real life. And also, because he's a superhero, they obviously straight away were like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Mr. Wilson. And just, you know, it's so interesting to see this. Because this obviously never happens in real life unless... Well, some celebrities actually speak about this sort of thing. Going through this sort of treatment and then... You know, them recognizing them and being like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry and blah blah blah, all that bullshit. But like, it's just like... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's, I love that this is in the show. I'm so happy. <laughs> happy well, now? All right. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. I love it. <laughs> he trusted you. He gave you that shield for a reason. That shield, that is, that is everything he stood for. That is his legacy. He gave you that shield and you threw it away like it was nothing. Oh, damn. It's coming out now. he was wrong about you. And if he was wrong about you, then he was wrong about me. Oh. Oh, Bucky. No. Don't, don't say that. Oh, I actually feel like crying. That breaks my heart. Because, like, with, like, the fact that Bucky was saying, like, if Steve was wrong about choosing you as Captain America, then he was wrong about sort of, like, Bucky's whole deal with, like, changing. Like, no, that's not true at all! It's just, like, like, it's so sad. Like, I feel like he's, like, just second-guessing what everybody sort of thinks. And I think it's sort of, like, I guess that's sort of re a relatability to a lot of people. And I think I, I sort of, like, relate to it as well. Like, the anxiety of what people sort of think of you or even just, like, what, like, you know, like, being friends with them, they second-guess or, well, with me, like, sometimes with my friends, I sort of second guess that, you know, they actually enjoy my company or, like, that they want to hang out with me. I'm not sure if anybody else has that sort of anxiety, but that's sometimes something that goes through my head. So, but in other words, Bucky's sort of, like, taking on Steve's words, like, saying, you know, like, 
um, like, Bucky, you can change your life. Like, especially in Civil War with the scene on the plane when they're on the way to stop Zemo. Like, Steve was saying, you know, this was worth it. You're my best friend. You know, like, I would do anything to save you. And Bucky was like, is it worth it? And Steve was like, it is worth it. And the fact that, you know, Bucky now is questioning that, it's it breaks my heart. Especially because it's come from Sam's decision to hand in the shield. Um, because I think deep down, Bucky has a respect for um, Sam. And I think the same thing with Sam to Bucky. Um, but I think they just both have so much baggage in different ways. And they're both so stubborn that they don't want to talk about it that it's hard for them to sort of get... Okay, drag racer outside my house, you're right. <laughs> it's sort of hard for them to get on that same level. So it's like, it's it's really hard. So I'm hoping that we sort of flesh that out in the next few episodes. Obviously, there's only six episodes for the season. So I hope we get to sort of see that more fleshed out in the next episode of the episodes coming. It'll be exciting to see what happens. <sighs> I'm really starting to not like this John guy. Where is she now, Walker? No? no, we don't know, Bucky. It's only a matter of time before we find out. Things are really intense for you, aren't they? Bucky? Walker's right. It is imperative that we <laughs> He's trying to edge him on. Word of advice, then. Stay the hell out of my way. Fuck it. Uh-oh. Mm. Not a chance. Walker doesn't have any leads. I know where you're going with this. No, he knows all of Hydra's secrets. Don't you remember Siberia? So you're just gonna go sit in a room with this guy? Are they gonna break him out? We're gonna go see Zemo. Oh! <laughs> That's so annoying. Oh, that was such a good episode. Oh my god. Well, I mean, obviously it's episode two, but it's getting better and better. I'm so excited for the rest of this series. Like, even though we're only on episode two already, like, god damn. It's so good already. And, yeah, just the stuff they're covering is so good. And the fact that Isaiah is there, oh my god. And then the grandson, I can't remember the grandson's name. But, yeah, the whole backstory with that is so cool. And I'm so excited to see, like... How else, like, this is all going to play out. It's going to be so good. Oh, my God. Happened in this episode. That was so good. So, again, we've sort of touched base with what really is going on with Bucky. And especially after what happened with John getting the shield and becoming Captain America, it's really affected Bucky, obviously. Um... Because I'm guessing Bucky thought Sam would just immediately take up the mantle as Captain America. But the fact that, you know, he's handed it in. And then, like we said before, it's really made Bucky question sort of Steve's, like, you know, choosing him as the next Captain America. Um, so it's, it's interesting how that's impacting Bucky. But also, like, I wonder, like... What else is going with Sam? Because obviously there is that sort of aspect of the race and I f of, like, being a black man. And I think that's going to come out a little bit later with, like, you know, the reason of why he didn't become Captain America. But also because maybe, like, if he does try and get that role back as Captain America, they're probably going to be like, a, a black man doesn't represent America sort of thing. Like, that would be interesting if they go into that territory. And just, again, the whole thing with Isaiah. Just, like, that's a pivotal part of the comics, especially with the Falcon and even Bucky. So that's why I was so proud that they, they actually got him in the show. Um, and I'm so excited. That's why when they said, like, who are they going to go see? I was like, who? And then Isaiah. So it's so cool. Oh, I can't wait for the next episode. It's gonna be so good. Also, so this 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 group, it's it, I mean it's interesting their motives. Obviously, they're trying to support the like people who were displaced. Obviously, after the blip and even before, like especially because like during like probably during the time of the blip, it was a lot easier. Probably like obviously things are a little bit different and very like, um, how should I say? Like it would have been very like difficult to sort of handle things because half the population's gone of the world it would have been strange but at the same time i'm guessing it would have been a lot easier for like supplies to be given to people for people to be looked after um but but even now like it seems like the world is struggling to get back on its feet 
Okay, so going to the big part, which was the opening of this episode, and also just, like, parts throughout. The new Captain America! He is, like, again, like, he looks so different to how he usually looks. And, you know, he usually does play the villain, but he's a lot, like, gruffer. He looks actual with the beard, and usually, like, he's, like, his hair's usually, like, longer. So, like, he usually looks like a villain. But in this, he does look like a pretty boy, so sort of, like, obviously, like, what Steve... Steve... Well, Steve... Chris Evans is another level, so I can't even... I can't. I can't. But <laughs> he is quite handsome, and I think... I definitely think it was the angle last episode that made... I don't know what it was was and even I was I felt bad after like when I edited it and I was like ew I was like oh god I'm so horrible but like he he just didn't look nice so then I was so confused I was like oh my god the angle is so bad but it actually he actually like looks really good in this episode so I think it was just the angle <laughs> he also has a friend who turns out to be his sidekick um and yeah oh dude just jumping forward to the the fight that was on the truck I I knew that he was violent, the new Captain America, but I didn't realize he used guns. So, well, obviously he was in the military, but I didn't expect that. That's why when he pulled the gun out, I was like, uh, back, what? <laughs> I was so confused. So, well, not confused, but I was more shocked as to, like, that happening. So, I hope that sort of, oh, well, I'm guessing it'll get addressed in the next couple of episodes, because I do know, like, in the comics, not too much, because I, I didn't want to, because I haven't read too much, but I know that John is a big um, part of the Falcons comics, and especially in this one, like, he's a lot more, lot, he's not like Steve, obviously, there's never going to be another Steve Rogers, um, and he he's a lot more violent, and he, he, he has different morals compared to what Steve was, and obviously, as we saw at the end of the episode, he seemed very hostile towards Bucky and Sam, but even from the beginning, he didn't seem very nice towards Bucky. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the Star Spangled Man. Um, I was going to quickly say as well, we've already seen most of the footage we've seen in the trailers. So uh, I'm guessing the next episode is probably going to be busting out Zemo. And I'm thinking we're going to go to, not Munich, we're going to go, oh, what's that place? The place that people, everyone's talking about it, like, connected to Wolverine, but obviously Wolverine ain't gonna show up, people. I'm I'm curious as to what's gonna happen, whether Sam's gonna take the Captain America suit, and obviously the shield, or it's gonna be Isaiah's son, or grandson. I'm not sure. I just know that there's complications with Isaiah, and it's either he's aging faster or something else. I can't remember. Um, I need a... We'll, we'll probably talk about that on Aftermath, so you guys can check that out on Sunday or whenever that's going to come out because this weekend's really busy as well. I have two assignments to do next week. Ugh, the pain. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Mango out. <laughs>